Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In this episode we are going to go and make a beacon. And maybe if, if we've got time we'll do a gravity controller as well. Now where am I going to go and do the beacon? Well I've got points around here where I go searching for rockets. So let's go and put one in one of those corners. So there we are. Uh, where have I got? I've got one over here, point one. Let's go over there. That's my first point. Now beacons are fairly straightforward. Let's press control and we go a bit faster. They, they don't require any power, but they do require special glasses. So we'll put down the beacon first of all, because it's fairly straightforward. And you'll see here what I've done is on these points is I've changed them a little bit. So I've put some pink wool and then put a um, magnum torch. And I've done that every 128 blocks. So in this direction, every as 128 blocks, you'll find another one. And that's because that's a reasonable good search for when I'm looking for rockets. So let's get the let's get on with this. Beacons. Beacons are quite new. I think they're since 1.21 or maybe 1.2. I'm not sure which. But they're a fairly small structure. They're only a 3x3. Three three. So let's put one, say, let's come out from here here and you'll see that they are just a small structure actually no I'll put it one more back let's put it here for instance right so all you need is four machine, machine structures no seven machine structures and a redstone block and a beacon and that's it let's get this out of the way like that so we want machine structures here 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 and we need a beacon in the middle, like this. And then we just need the next layer. If I remember rightly, it's just a tower of machine structures. So what I'll do is put it all down like that, and then we can see the whole thing. So there's a redstone block at the top, and the rest of these are machine structures. One, two, three. And that's it. Really easy and simple. Right, click it. And there you have one beacon. Let's just turn it on. And it has a nice animation. As I said, it doesn't, in this version, require any power, so that's great. So let's go back to the uh, base. It should be around about here. I've turned off my markers anyway, so I can guess roughly where it is because it's all diagonals. And we're going. We'll do the. We'll do. The, start again. Got tongue tied. We'll try and do the glasses next. Well, we will make the glasses. I actually got a recipe for the glasses already programmed in, but I'm going to do it manually because it's more fun. So down we go. And so here we come to the, the precision assembler. And that's all we're going to use for this particular recipe. So let's have a look at it. Beacon glasses. Beacon. So this is what we need, the beacon finders. So, in a precision assembler with a tracking circuit, we need some anti fog visors. Anti fog visors are made from one battery, one basic lens, one advanced circuit, and one control circuit. So, let's get all of those bits out of the system and into our inventory. So, we need um, battery. We've got two left, that's good. We need a lens. We need the, the white lens, which I don't... S oh, that's that one. Yes, of course. I want one of those. That's just three. Like that. We need a control circuit. That's this one. What else did we need? An advanced... We need an advanced circuit. Let's craft one, two of those, actually. So we should actually we'll end up with four, won't we? Because they come into fours. Oh no, advanced ones don't. And we need a tracking circuit like this. So let's make the first one of these. I've got a basic circuit in there. I'm not sure why. Must be something in the wrong place. I'll have to check it. So we need those, these four, and that will give me the anti-fog visors, which have now disappeared into the system. Let's go and get those. Like that one, one of those. But you still got a crafting recipe for that anyway. 
and the next one we do is we want to put in this plus a tracking circuit and that's already gone through that was very fast and that'll give us a beacon finders and here we go I have a recipe for that as well but I don't really need the recipe that was just a uh, oops test things out so what we need to do now is we need to come along to a suit workbench take our helmet which is this one and I've got the anti-fog visors in there if I just put the beacon finder glasses in as well and take that out I have both I'm not actually exactly sure and you'll see here it's got a, an arrow at the top that shows me where the beacon is let's go and see if we can see if that works so it's over there as you can see we'll just go it doesn't tell me how far away it is but it does tell me I've got point one which I could actually remove let's do that Let's just hide point one and carry on going. We know it's here, and there we are, one beacon. That's quite nice, isn't it? So when you go past it, it's changed, it's gone away. Like that. So I can use beacons instead of using a. Uh, uh, markers for when I'm looking for things which is also quite good so if I for example I want to go and find the next one which will be in this direction I'll try again if I go along here you'll see here is 128 blocks away is a, another marker and then I normally what I do is I go along here like this until I reach the next marker along here and while I'm doing some checking to see if I see any rockets that have landed because the one that I did send off to that point, pad 3, hasn't yet arrived. And I don't know where it is, but it will be around somewhere about. Or so it will come down some stage or other. So there is that one. Right, let's go back to base. So now we shall go and set up a gravity controller, because that didn't take too long to do. didn't think it would, actually. Oops. like this so we're going to go to the moon this time I hope I'm actually going to go to the moon remember to change the destination click select and off we go yes I've got my my mask on here like that and it should disappear this marker when we've not got it on in fact probably what's a good idea is if if it annoys you you could probably just say remove that altogether and uh, just have two helmets one with the fog visor and one with the beacon finder in it. I think we've got plenty of power on the moon. If not, we've got a, another dimensional transceiver. I think I'll probably use the other dimensional transceiver, actually. So let's go and get that out of my bag. I think it's in the gold. No, it's in here, isn't it? T? Yes. And we need some cable, of course. Let's take some ender cable. And just wait till we land. See, now the vacuum is now 0 0.2 atmosphere, so it uh, didn't actually take that long to move up to the next one. So now we'll increase the, we'll increase the um, gravity here. Let's, do it, let's put it down, see, here. So what we need is a gravity it called gravity controller yes like this and I don't think it's very big in fact I know it's not very big because let's have a look what we need for it first of all so we need one gravity controller one power and four machine structures so it is going to be a four by a two by two I guess or three by three so power plug in the middle that's interesting unusual and advanced machine structures around the outside okay let's get those ready got the four of those so with a power plug in the middle what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down and put a uh, uh, a dimensional transceiver there honestly so in the backpack I should have a shovel 
with this uh, with a sho shovel so that'll be fairly good for digging this stuff out and I think I just need to go back one down like this set that to be quantum storage receive and configuration I want it to be output on this side push yeah that should that should do I don't think I have it it's actually for items that just leave it to none and see if it actually works and if not I have to do it another way so I just need the power plug in the middle like that and then the next layer is one gravity controller which I could have probably guessed of course like that right click that and it forms into this rather cool looking block here so now I don't actually know how it works oh my goodness that is not working at the moment maybe it's not got any power it's always it's actually quite difficult to know whether or not that's connected properly Whoa. disappears so what I'll do is I'll remove this from here and put an energy cable in its place that's weird isn't it so let's do that and then we can then we can guarantee it's got power maybe it just needs a lever some of these machines just need levers and I would have actually thought it would need more than that so let's have a look or maybe it even needs to be in conjunction with something else right I've got a lever here just in case and I want some energy conduit which I've got and I want the getter wrench remove that with the getter wrench it's so weird that actually a bit disturbing um, and then energy cable let's just take the energy cable out here like that I think it does need power be strange if it didn't like that and then we just put some meter back into this corner here like that which is a bit strange I can't figure I'm not sure where this is working let's put that on there I'll turn it on well I don't think that's working Maybe we need to build a gravity controller of the other type. There's two. Um, that's the gravity controller itself. And here is the gravity controller as a second block, which I can build straight away. And I'm not sure whether this links into this thing. That's the, let's put it down here. Uh, we can increase the gravity. artificial gravity 0.56 well I ain't sure let's move it up a bit higher so it doesn't seem to be working this thing maybe that's only for space stations tell you what I'll come back in a second just double check what's going on here oh it's got an interface uh, you know I didn't see the, I right clicked it and maybe I was just too quick and you have to turn it on and then you can do a radius of how far away you want it and the target here so if we increase the gravity here and then we increase the radius so we're now at 23 blocks and the direction so you can have gravity in different directions I guess and that's right set control disabled so now we've got target gravity 0.46 and you see it's working it doesn't seem to be making that much difference I seem to be jumping still pretty high it's just right click this again target gravity 60 let's 101 and then let's have a look at what's happening still jumping up reasonably high it's quite fun actually <laughs> so target gravity is already at that level let's go up a bit higher then Makes me wonder if it's actually working. Uh, 
Well, you know, I wouldn't say this is actually working. That's radius. More. None. Oh! <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> Is that pushing me away from this thing? Oh, that's very strange. Maybe that's an anti-gravity thing. All right. How am I going to get around this then? <laughs> Let's go over the top of it. And come down the other side and see whether or not I can get near to it. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, that's not working as I expected it to do. <laughs> as you see, it pushes me away. I'm just not sure what. Gravity control is pushing me away. That seems to be a bit weird. And it's pushing me away a long, t a long way as well. So that's a... Uh... Whoa. Do you know... I don't think I'm going to be able to fix this thing. I'll be back in a minute if I, fi if I can fix oh, it. I figured out how to get to it. Get to it. So let's just see if I can turn it off. I just dug a tunnel. And you see, I'm being lifted up at the moment. So, of course, here is now it. As you get slower as well. <clears throat> as you get near to this thing. So we can simply just break this cable here, I reckon. And that should turn it off. After it sent me into space. I don't know how much power that needs to be turned off. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to go back down again and do this again. <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's get this turf just up here so I, I can place a block of turf as I get nearer to it. There. OK, let's get digging. And then we should be able to break a block here. That will um, <coughs> stop it working. Well, that's a bit strange. I'm going to have to look into that a bit more. I'll just put it back in and see what happens. So the one I broke was just here. Well, that was fun. But I can actually take the power below it. That's probably a good idea. So. Try again. Put the structure back here. Right click it. This time it says North Active. Ah, maybe this is the gravity we... Maybe we shouldn't be having positive gravities. Let's try that. I can't turn it... I can turn it on. Without power. It's still got some power. And the power's not going down. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Let's turn this right down here, see what it was before. And if that doesn't work, I'll turn it off. Well, maybe I need a negative gravity. Let's do that. So now the gravity is 13. I wonder if this is a... Additive R. None. Okay, so additive is what we want. I think we need additive. <laughs> wow, this is a bit uh, complicated. I don't think it's working quite well because the power's still there. And it does seem to be in the wrong direction. This is very strange. It seems to be pushing me up rather than pulling me down. See, I'm being pushed away. Get closer again to do it and I'll turn it off. Well, target direction north. Let's just try south then. Turn north off. Turn it back on again. Well, I don't know. I thought this would have actually increased the gravity on the planet, and not pushed me away from it. Because that does seem a bit strange, doesn't it? 
It's definitely pushing me away, whatever else it's doing. Just a second, I'll be back. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Quick read of the, read of the um, wiki page. And here we are. So what it says is this one here affects the gravity. So then the gravity becomes additive. As you saw, I was then pushed down. So we've now got a, a 53 gravity. So now it should, it should be pulled down, which is actually what we wanted exactly. And the square on the top, this one is the one that pushes me up. So if I turn that on, it's first of all you've got set. And let's just turn it off like that. So the set, it sets the gravity to a particular level. And the red adds it to what's already there. So for example, if we change the blue one, bottom one here to additive and it turns out to none, then we get a, a gravity set. But that should bring me down, not set me up. Because that's the bottom and that's the top. So let's just change that to additive. And as you can see, we've added whatever it is, 53, I think is the target. And as you can see, it's speeding up. It's, it's not working properly because it should be using power, but it ain't. So in a future version, it's bound to be using power. But that's really what I wanted to achieve effect of not jumping too high so that's great I'll leave that like that why that was a bit different wasn't it so how's my atmosphere doing so we're still at point two in a very short time I will be back again with the next episode on the next episode we're going to be having a look at um, terraforming see what happens I think I've got enough gas on the gas on the pla on the um, space station so until then i'll say bye for now